morning. Um, I just wanted to weigh in about um, intellectual copyright. I'm a little slow today. <clears throat> I'm doing this without a teleprompter because I don't seem to think that I need one. I just want to state for the record that I'm a huge Godzilla fan and I'm sort of concerned about this SOPA pipe of business. Let me state that I can see why they are doing what they are doing. But you're trying to kill a hornet with a cannon. Okay. I wanted to show you this here behind me. <clears throat> Every single Godzilla movie ever made, I own. This thing weighs about... Oh, I don't know, 20 pounds, and it represents years of collecting on my part. My collection at one time consisted of pirated copies. I'm going to tell you a little story. It happened years ago about why I got turned off to pirated versions to begin with. A lot of these movies weren't available in the U.S. at the time. They hadn't been released yet. And, you know, hey, I wanted to see. So, I ordered this copy of, uh, Godzilla 2000 on VHS, which, you know, that was the medium at the time. And I got it on DVD now. See? This copy was taken in the theater with a camcorder. And let's just say that the screen you are uh, watching me on right now represents the uh, movie screen, the TV screen, rather. What happened, okay, this little piece of paper right here represents the, the movie screen. It was basically like this. It was flickering, and the sound was going in and out. There's no way in hell. I like my Godzilla movies to be filling the whole screen, see the big picture. You know, I've taken great pains toward replacing all of my pirated versions with legitimate copies because the quality is simply a hundred percent better. Quality is simply a hundred percent better. The sound quality, the picture quality. Now, I'm of the opinion we really don't need to shackle the internet to get rid of internet pirates. I'm also of the opinion that left alone, yeah, they're going to do their thing. But I no longer do business with them because guys made this here they deserve compensation for their intellectual copyright they deserve it and why not
they're the ones that put it out. They're also the ones that made sure these got released in the States. Now, they got put it out on Blu-ray as these uh, get scratched, whatever. I'm going to have to spend money to replace them again. That's all right. And the part that bothers me is we're going to put this soap uh, pipe uh, into operation to shut down pirated copies. What else? That would be like me punishing my whole brood because one of them shoplifted from the store. You know, I'm pretty 99% sure that the others would resent it, and rightfully so. Made my case. I'm not going to sit there and download stuff for free. If I can pay a few bucks here and there and get better quality. This is years of my life. You know, from 1954 all the way to Final Wars. These are put out mainly by Classic Media and Sony Pictures, which is the same uh, type of company that's sponsoring the SOPA bill. Why? Let's talk about this. You're going to go after the little guy? What's next is uh, Netflix gonna be shut down. You're already going after the internet. I'm a big girl. I understand your concern. I do. I also know that you should be compensated. That's why I don't download these movies. A, because the quality sucks. And B, you should get that money. Well, I really don't have much more to say, except don't shackle the internet. Don't throw us all in jail for the actions of a few.